my task. How's picture pictures looking good? Okay. What be my task? Oh, I have to remember voices, don't I? Oh crap. Um <clears throat> I don't remember the voices. <laughs> Someone buried their pumpkin seed in the rainforest so the children of Hargon wouldn't be able to find them. The rainforest is on the other side of the furrow field bog. Just follow the path until you find it. Go and have a look and see if you can find, bring back 30 pumpkin seeds. Okay. Um, do I have... I do have an identifier. Cool. I forget all the buttons. What do all the buttons do? Where's my zoom out? I forget. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking snapshots, wasn't I? Okay, um, warp. What are we warping to? Aha! They do put it on the map. Okay, let's go! You're so popular with my chat, that'll never do. Can't have that going on. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> I literally just stopped right in front of him, I didn't even see him. Did they? Did these guys drop anything? Oh, bark! They drop bark. Not a single shrub seed. Okay, I just wanted to see what they dropped. And what is this? Oh yeah, I have been over here, and I'm already forgetting everything. So I think I collected a few bu bits and pieces around here. Cutscene. Hmm. hmm. Hey, Hawkeye, look over there. Why do you reckon those Botkin archers are loitering around like that? Come on, let's ask them and find out. Okie dokie. I keep forgetting the puppies. Oh, look at the puppy. He's such a good puppy, always coming along with us. What a good puppy. Your face! Pale and pink it is! Not green at all! A human you must be! These trees, do you know? From their trunks, bark can be harvested! This bark, bad boons also carry! Okay. A human approaches! And with good timing he does! Botkin archers we are! Green-faced warriors, guardians of greenery, and protectors of the green, green forest we are! But recently, to the children of Hargon... Whoa! That was a crazy camera zoom. More and more of my warriors defect. Turn to the dark side they have. Okay, it doesn't help that I'm kind of... This is semi-Yoda-ish. He speaks like Yoda, and he says dark side. Come on. Can you be any more Star Wars? I should be cool. Dragon Quest could be a little bit more Star Wars, not gonna lie. The forest they vow to protect, they destroy. Remain steadfast, we bar Bodkin archers do, but not so staunch were the Bodkin bowers, and suffer them to remain we cannot. Need your help we do. Defeat the Bodkin bower traitors, and a gift I will give you. An amazing item it, that can create a forest it is. Infest our forest these purple-faced traitors do. Ten of them you must defeat. Okay. I love how we're being sent on a murder mission. Have traitor will kill. Are they just? Yep, there they are. Dun dun dun. Dun dun. Pansies. Oh, oh. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. Um. Am I just filling up the green with the plant things? I can do that. Oh, I heard. I must have some in the bag already. Yes. Alright. Uh, take out. Well, so, Dragon's Builders 1 had these puzzles, but they were far less of them and tougher. So it was like, because there were less of them, that's probably why they made them tougher. But I like the fact that there's more of these and simpler, 
makes me feel smarter, and I do like getting a lot of medals. Hey, you moved! Oh, you still hit gun. What is that? Please. Oh, shit! Yo, Luke Aaron! Oh, sweet. Cool. How's it going, my man? Thank you so much for the raid and the hosty. The toasty hosty. Oh, did I bring my, um... Did I bring my anvil so I can build Mulroth, whatever I'm about to win? Training talks. Ooh! But is it better than a tortoise shell? Okay, I do not have my anvil. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh wow, he be powerful. These guys do not stand a chance. Malrath be powerful. Look at that. All right, Unomas. What is this? What is this thing I'm looking at? What is this? What is this thing I'm looking at? Did I have... Did I forget a quest or something? Huh. What... What are you? What are you? Maybe there's someone... There might... There might be a cave nearby. Also, what am I doing? Now that I've finished this, I can take these things. I die, fools. <laughs> die! Die! Aha! Die! Hmm. Well fought, human! Bet on destroying the forest those Botkin Bowers were, but stop them you did! Know your secret, I do! A builder you are, yes? Mention a gift I did! Here! Ooh. Acorns they are! Plant them in healthy soil. You should and grow a tree will. Plant, plant enough and a forest you shall have. And grow forest you must, Builder. Grassy meadows too. To the children of Hargon we must not give in. Remember the alliance you must. An ancient pact between the humans and Bodkin archers and the fat rats. Much more, say, much more to say I have, young Builder. But for a long time already I have been speaking. If for more knowledge you thirst, if to hear my tale you hunger, then speak with me again. And he never spoke to him again. Right. So that was a pit stop on our way to the pumpkin seeds. I'm good, Luke Aaron. How are you doing? Ooh, zombies. Ugh. Oh my god, they still packed the wall. Okay, so one difference between the first and second game is all these monsters take far more time. Oh, and oh no, that wasn't a rock. Did you? Oh, I thought that I thought the puppy was lying down for a second. I thought the puppy was like dead. I was like, did you hit my? Did you hurt my puppy? Don't you dare hurt my puppy. Yeah, these guys take forever to wind up and attack, and it's throwing off my rhythm. A human approaches. Such strangely colored skin you have. Not the healthy green of us Botkin archers, no! Beyond this bridge lies in ruin and ancient churches. Into despair, its graveyard has fallen. Long, long ago, a strange human lived there. A collector of seeds, they say he was. Very strange indeed, huh? Okay. Spooky graveyard time. Oh, yeah. Noise. Yay. One. 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 What's that? Did you find a new kind of seed? That must be one of those pumpkin seeds that Rosie was talking about. I wonder I wonder what it was doing there. Maybe somebody dropped it. And maybe they're still somewhere nearby. Let's take a look around. We might find some more seeds. Hell yeah. Okay, so Pup is going to be even more useful than before. Should I desecrate a grave? Yup! Yup, 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 yup! Desecrate! Yep. Eh. You never know when a grave can come in handy. There's something to read, right? Alright. 
Well, that explains the walking zombies. Why they are around. Ooh, what is that rainbow thing? Sorry, I'm very burpy after my dinner that I chowed down. Oh, that's the rainbow thing. A doy. Good doggy. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. What'd I do? What'd I just do? Onward, pups. Onward. So I have to do this 30 freaking times? Puppy! Come on, puppy. Come on. Yeah. It's your good doggy. We followed the trail all this way, but our phantom seed dropper is nowhere to be seen. What do you reckon? Shall we see if we can find anything else around here? I know, you want me to go in the church. Oh, or not. I think we're about to find our seed barrier. <laughs> What's up, puppy? Is there something wrong with this gravestone? Hold on. Could this be where the guy who dropped all those seeds is buried? Huh? Hmm. Hawkeye, look! Over there! Huh. Who's there? Show yourself! Oh, no. I don't know what to do. Oh, no. Oh no, you found me! Oh, yep. Oh, is that a feral field retriever? No wonder you sniffed me out with such a good sniffer on your side. They're such capricious creatures, though. It isn't just anyone who can tame them and train them like this. Just who are you? You've come in search of pumpkin seeds? Is that so? When I was alive, I used to grow pumpkins. I would hide and see the seeds to keep them from the children of Argon. Not only did they try to steal my seeds, they turned my beautiful church into an unholy shrine of destruction. Uh-oh, uh -oh, flashback time. Oh, nice. If only there were a, was a builder on the island, one who could repair the damage they've done. Oh, wait, that's not flashback. That's just turning the camera. I hate how they fade out to, like, rotate the camera. That, that's weirding me out for some reason. What? You're a builder. You don't look like one. In fact, you don't look like much at all. If you truly are a builder, perhaps you could restore the church to its original form. If you could, did, I could give you some seeds in return. Meet me in the church. I will explain what you must do. Not my best voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, exploring I go. Crap, I'm talking like a bodkin archer. Ow. Hails ya. Find more? Oh, you s oh, you can snip out treasure too? What a good puppy you are. What a good puppy you are. Oh my god, I can't take it. Okay, how do I do this thing again? Okay. Uh, what I get? I missed what I got. What I get? 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 I don't know. Oh, there are pumpkin seeds. Duh. Um, how many map? More! Boop. Oh, shit ton of seeds. Let me take the... Yeah, I want you. What's a human doing in the basement of a rundown beating up old church like this? You're definitely more man than mouse. Making your way down here? The church is haunted, you know? Squeak! 
They say the priest here used to collect seeds to grow in his beautiful garden, but now he haunts the church he wants called home. The treasure chest contained his most prized possessions, the seeds he spent his life collecting. Not another living soul knows they're dead. They're here. You can help yourself and no one would ever be any wiser. No one would ever be... I can't. I can read. I swear. But don't blame me if the ghost of that priest comes to take his prized possessions back. Squeak, squeak, squeak. I already met him. Don't worry. We're good. We're friends. We're buds. I feel like I... I feel like this is the right way to be doing things. Um. Alright, what's going on here? Um, am I hitting a roof? I am. So Okay, so I'm not supposed to be here. I will go up the church the regular way. Is that... Did I see a ladder? No. No ladders anywhere? I must know if this works. I must. Okay. Behold, Builder! The children of our God have turned my holy altar into this hideous abomination! It just won't do! Hideous? I don't know about that. I think that statue looks kind of cool. Whoa. Well, I can't stand it! And I want you to smash it to pieces! It's not the same. It's just. Blah, blah, blah. It's not just the statue builder. I want you to rebuild this entire altar to something more suitable. If you really are a builder, then you should take a piece of. The be this should be a piece. Oh my God! I can talk. I swear. Then this should be a piece of cake for you. Wendy's is branching out. <laughs> oh, is everyone following Arby's? Arby's start or Arby's example that's funny I figured they would I kind of figured they would but here's the thing Arby's is always on point with uh, with their video games they they keep up with video games and they know what's coming up they know what's going on okay so two candles one old book is there anything to build with oh this must be a blue Print. It looks just like the old church altar. The old goddess statue and altar are still hidden in the storeroom. The place I was just at and left, unfortunately. At the back of the church behind some crates. You can use the, it, them to complete the blueprint and restore the altar to its former glory. Alright. Um, I'm assuming there's nothing to build on. This isn't a ladder, right? No, it doesn't seem to be. Nope, yep. okay. Uh, let's go back to town. We'll grab... Um, I'm going to grab the workbench. Thank you for swinging by. Oh, I collected the 30. That's right. Wow, Hawkeye, you found all the pumpkin scenes we need. Now you're one step closer to restoring the Dia Tree to its original majestic glory. Where did you find all these seeds, anyway? There was a ghost guarding them? They must have meant a lot to him when he, when he was alive for him to keep watch on them after death. Which means he must really have faith in you to entrust something so important to you. So don't let him down. Treat those pumpkins, pumpkins with the care they deserve. Pastor Al tells me they should be quite easy to grow. You just need to plant the seeds in tilled earth and water them. Just like cabbages and wheat. So let's get to it. Mm-hmm. Nice. Right, so. How are you not assigned anything yet? Okay. Well, you will be now. Okay, so I put the seeds in the, in the chest. I must have to plant one myself first. Is that what you want me to do, game? <coughs> okay. Why can't I? Huh. Alright, fine. We'll do this myself. I'll do it all myself. How about that? Ah. 
get to it. I grew lots of clock. Wow. I like jump from like 190 to finish. Holy crap. I didn't even realize I did. We did it, Hawkeye. We did it. Forfield Farm is back and better than ever. And we've done everything we need to keep the deer tree happy, too. Huh? Look, Hawkeye. There's so much power flowing through the deer tree. Let's go and have a closer look. I didn't mean to actually complete this mission. Because I still have to go back to the church. And see what's up there. Hello. The deer tree grows even bigger. It's... It's so beautiful! It's more wonderful than I ever imagined! Uh, who was Perry? Oh. Blimey! All the energy from the plants we grew has, has flowed into the deer tree! But I've just about moved to tears thinking about it! Ha 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 ha! Perhaps we can restore life and light to the island after all. We shall drive the ill wind from these fair shores once and for all. <laughs> the deer tree's growth proceeds apace! Perhaps with time it will reach its full size and its full strength. You mean we're still not done? But I fear the children of Hargon will seek to destroy it long before then. I must consult with the brainy badboon before it's too late. But before that, it's party time! Today's the day Furrowfield Farm's finally back on its feet. And if that ain't, ain't enough to warn a harvest festival, I don't know what is! <laughs> well said, Perry. Hear me, humans. It is time for us to celebrate a job well done. <laughs> cool, blimey, Gov. Is it difficult fighting fights in this game? Uh, there were some really difficult fights in the first one. Um, I, I, I attempted to speedrun the first one, so I played it over and over again, and I still struggled at some some of the battles. Uh, apparently, I've read articles that says that the, the combat in this is a little easier. Thanks so much for all the help completing Pastor Al's tasks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and you look pretty pleased too. Just look at that grin on your face. Seems like someone's looking forward to the Harvest Festival. But we can't start the celebrations just yet. I think some of the other villagers have things they want to, to do before we begin. As do I. As, a, as our resident builder, you're the only one who can turn their dreams into reality. As soon as you finish seeing to everyone's needs, we can start the party. Stop it! Eh. Okay. Oh, our archive! What's that I smell? Have you found an acorn, Abby? If you plant an acorn in nice, healthy soil, it'll get a nice, healthy tree for your troubles. That's another great way to green up this island. So, so, oh, so tis. As far as I'm concerned, hey, corn's our next best thing after worm food when it comes to greener, greenery growing. So go right ahead and fill this farm with trees. You just have to put an acorn in good soil to get a tree growing, but it takes forever to grow full size. If you're not a fan of waiting, you can always use some fertilizer before you plant the acorn. Then you'll tr your tree will shoot right up at will. Uh, who is Lillian? I forget. Oh, one of the little kids. Hawkeye! Wrigley! I couldn't help but overhear you talking about planting trees, and I just wanted to let you know that I think it's an absolutely wonderful idea. But if we're going to go through all the trouble of growing a grove of trees, why stop there? What I really want is a way to play with them. Oh, now ain't that a fine idea. Let's grow ourselves a nice big tree and dangle some it off Bit to make a lovely little playground. Really? We're fighting evil and all they want me to do is build a playground? Uh, this is on the Switch. A swing. Okay. Um, where to put the tree? Should we put the tree next to the other tree? Hey, let's put it right in front of the middle of the town where uh, I'm sure baddies are going to try and attack me. Alright, we need some more poop. Let's, uh... Yes, give me poop. You gotta use poop to make poop. Speaking of poop, let's get some more poop. 
Eh, somebody left me a little surprise. <laughs> oh, so much poop. Yes. Oh, that, all that poop. Alright. Um. Okay, acorn. Acorn, 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 acorn. I. I put it in the chest, didn't I? Yes, I did. Crap. Okay, so how big are my trees going to be? That's the question. No? Too small? Too small, Varia? Crap. Uh, do I have any worm food anywhere? I don't think I'm out of worm food. I do have earth, though, right? Yeah. I'll make my good area. Um. Yep. Yep. This is gonna look utterly silly, but I'm doing this. Also, block the monsters when they attack. Oh shit. The question is, how many how many spaces does the damn tree take? just one. Let's make a nice, lovely forest. And poop! Alright, it's been poopified. I heard puppy. I hear puppy. Build a ladder yet? I don't know if I can build a ladder yet. Okay. Also, I want to find out what that task was um, in one of the mountains. Okay. Okay. First things first, get rid of you. Okay, so what do I need to build this thing? What do I need to build this thing? Hmm. I can't seem to build anything that I need. Why is that? Yeah, I can't seem to build anything I need. Huh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be here yet. Alright, let's uh, reread what he said. The old god statue and altar are hidden in the back of the church behind some crates. Oh, so it's not even in the bottom. It's just, like, back here. Oh, I'm a dum-dum. I'm a dum-dum. <laughs> Found it all. So that means... So this is an evil altar or something? Yeah, unholy altar. Okay. Um, away with ye. 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 Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? I'm looking for the candles. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so. Fuck me! Ah, oh, the stupid D pad. Stop it! Nope. Okay. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Alter. Here. Book, I'm assuming, right on top. Yep. Look. Here. Statue. Here? No. Yep. Statue. Here. Uh, I probably gotta get rid of these bad boys. Yep. Oh, I got rid of the wall. Fuck. Okay, and... Yep, and... Yep, 
that everything? And where did the candles go? Candles go here. Nope. Oh, God. Yeah, don't destroy it again. There we go. Whew. That took way too much effort. I'm more of a pack rat than you. You builder again, builder. It was amazing to watch you at work. This church was constructed long, long ago by a builder who came to Furrowfield. You know, in fact, he almost made almost everything around here. He turned the whole island from a barren wasteland into a bountiful utopia. But if a builder did all that, how come everyone around here believes they bring nothing but desolation and despair? Well, that's a long story. This chapter has a very epic conclusion. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Hold that thought. We've got company. Uh-oh. Oh, hi. What is the meaning of this abominable altar? What do you boneheads think you're doing destroying the, our unholy altar to Hargon? And even worse, building something new in its place. Ugh, it's the children of Hargon again. Come on, Hawkeye, let's teach Bone Boy here a lesson. Uh oh, oh, I placed a candle. Um, where am I? Stop placing candles and fight! He's going for me. I know he's going for me. Aha! What are you doing there? You... Ow! Oh! Ow! Fuck. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Whoop. Oh, yep. Sound like I really truly feel invincible with this tortoise shell. This tortoise thing was the best uh, best decision. Move, Hargon. Gonna get roasted. There we go. The DQ pun game is insane. Always. I would expect nothing less. Ooh! I was so scared there. I thought I was dying again. Thanks for fighting off those fanatics, Builder. And thanks to you, too. You may have pointy ears and, and strange spooky eyes, but you certainly know a thing or two about fighting. What are you, anyway? There's such a powerful aura of destruction about you. What are you getting at? I'm just me. Hmm. Huh? Well, if you say so, you've both been such a huge help to me. I owe you my own life. It's not much, but I want you to have these. Uh. Okay, so between raiding the back and this right here, that's probably, because I think I got 20, that looked like more than enough. All right, I'm just taking like mental notes for possible speedrun. There are more where those came from if you want them. They're hidden underground in the catacombs. You'll have to tear up the floor to, yeah, to get them. But they're all yours. Just promise you'll plant them in good soil and water them every day. If only you could grow a new deer tree and hold a harvest festival too. I'd be so happy I think I'd depart this world altogether. Well, bye. <laughs> Possible, because I speed ran the first one. W w what? You're planning to do exactly that? And and I can come to join in when you do? I'm so happy I could. Wait, is this a trick? Are you trying to make me so ecstatic that I disappear for good? Well, sorry, just being paranoid. I hope to see you again soon. Good luck with your mission. And don't forget the pumpkin seeds in the basement. 
I don't even think you need the dig with the dog. Dig dog. Heh. <laughs> uh, well. Been there, done that. <laughs> but whatever. Squeak! Aha! There you are. Wait, I already talked to you, didn't I? Don't be afraid, little human. I'm a friendly orc. I love nature and everything in it, including humans. And I've heard a rumor about you. That you're starting a new potato t tomato farm. Let me tell you a helpful hint. I already know this. I already know this. Oh, 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 oh. I, I never talked to this guy again. Whoops, I just skipped right past him. Yay! You finished Dragon Quest Eleven a week ago? Oh, sweet. Awesome. I completely skipped this over. I completely, uh... Skipped him, uh, talking to him again. Alright, let's make some fertilizer. Mmm, stinky. Stinky, 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 stinky. What's that smell? Could it be? Human, did you make some of the stinky stuff? Well, don't just stand there. Let's try it out. Put some of it in that tilled soil behind my bed. Well, you want to sleep in it? Nope. Fuck. Ah! God, the D-pad drives me nuts. Bring me back my fertilizer. I need to smear poop on the ground. Boop. <laughs> Thanks again, GCC. That's it, human. You did it. All the tilt soiled has been stinkified. Come back here and let me see what we can work out exactly what what happened when you did that. It seems the stinky stuff can turn soil into hummus. How fascinating. Hummus is fantastic stuff. Any vegetable planted on it will grow much faster than in, in normal soil. Roughly four times as fast. But four times faster, in fact. Wow. You can use that stinky stuff to grow any plant in a flash. Not just vegetables. Trees will shoot right up, too. Use it well and you'll be a natural-born nature builder. Okay, good enough. That said, you're already an, ex an ex excellent builder. You made that stinky stuff all by yourself. All I did was tell you what's in it. I'd shake your hand, but knowing what went into making that stinky stuff, I know where they've been. Instead, I'll give you a present. A little gift to say thanks for letting me see that stinky stuff in action. I was planning on planting those in the soil next to my bed, but I'd rather not touch it anymore. And besides, my fingers are far too fat. Even if I managed to grow some tomatoes, I'd never be able to pick them without crushing them. I've always considered myself something of a naturalist. I love nature, and I like to think it loves me. But when it comes to actually growing something, I'm utterly hopeless. <sighs> yeah, right, kitty. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright. Well, that was cool. Um... Now what am I doing? Now I'm going back to town. Where I know I can do stuff. I did. One of my deaths was getting uh, sucked up by him. You went all the way to Furrowfield Bar to find those pumpkin seeds, Hawkeye. It would be a shame. Wait. Am I telling the wrong person? Oh, no, not. Yes, Hawkeye. You have done well to recover those seeds. The children of Hargon have now have been trying to destroy them for a long time now. When you plant them, you will be one step closer to seeing the deity completed. Your hard work will not only produce vegetables, but also bear fruit. You heard the pastor, Hawkeye. Let's plant those pumpkin seeds. I want to see them sprout. Done and done. And they might be done. They are done. This looks done, right? No, they're not done. Okay. Right. Tree. Tree! Tree! Oh, I gotta make the swing. I gotta make the swing. Okay, so these bad boys have to keep growing. The pumpkins have to keep growing. Should I try and fight that, uh... 
that orc lord that kicked my butt before. <clears throat> I kind of want to. I kind of want to do that. So where was that orc king? He was, I believe, I think up north. I want to say up north. Yeah, he had, okay, he had to have been through there. Oh, I was about to hear music. <gasps> no! Can I take my time? Am I allowed to take my time? I'm probably gonna regret this. I'm probably, my, my farm is probably gonna get all spoiled, isn't it? Sick, a strong monster! Move, puppy. Watch out, puppy. Watch out, Malroth. Oh, shit. This is definitely a super strong monster. Ah! Stop it. We definitely got him this time. Barring any stupidity. Barring stupidity. Oh, Malra's down. Crap. Run! What are you? Oh, you're a spoil spore. I really hope they're not on the timer, otherwise I am fucked. Oh, that's good to know. It's good to know I can do that. Alright, so I need to get him in front of this post every single time. Ah! Enough of this, this posing bullshit. Alright, let's see if this works. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, that was super lucky. Ah! Die, sucker! Die! Die, sucker! Die! Ugh. Yes, I'm just gonna mash. Oh. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> Hey, so does that mean the spoil spores aren't here? Wow! Oh, nope, they're here. Fuck. Okay. Someone's got a really annoying laugh. Um, any more? Oh, this is easy. This one's easy. I like this one. Boop. Or not a couple. I guess I was looking at the scarecrow. Is that it? Only three? How do I know when the trees are ready? Right, let's go get our butt kicked again. Damn it. Damn it. I had that. No, dude, you gotta come back here. You gotta come down here. Oh, 
Oh, they do explode. I just saw the I just saw the spoil spores explode. All right, I want to try something. I want to try something. Keep them distracted. <laughs> no! Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Man, he just don't give a shit. Now the sucker's dead. No, you... Ugh, asshole. Nope. Not this time, buddy. Not this time. Not getting cocky this time. Boom! Boom! Oh, is that a Yurgis Leaf? It is! Nice. Sweet. I'm assuming that uh, will either revive Mr. Malroth or revive me if I should perish. Hi. Right, well, that was that. That is exactly what I came here to do. Hi. Right. Ah, see pumpkins. This was some weird-looking pumpkins. Not gonna lie. The one's green pumpkins. Right, and how do I know when you're finished? And how do I attach? Stop it. How do I attach something to you? Like, like that? Oh. All right, done and done. Just like that. Cool. Can I swing in it? Wee, wee, uh, wee, wee. Oh my god, they are they are joygasming all over the place. Oh, can I go all the way on? Let me go all the way on. Please let me go all the way on. Whee! And jump! Oh, I wanted to jump off. And jump! Whee! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, or, oh, or. Now it ain't. Now ain't that a sight to behold? We got our own little leafy play park. Cool, that tree's a proper beauty. It looks good, it smells good, and it ain't rotten and yellow like the rest of the trees here. How kind of you, Hawkeye. You made a swing and even grew a tree to hang it from just for me. Thank you ever so much. Why stop there, though? I wouldn't mind seeing the old place turn into a flourishing forest. But how, we, how would we go about doing that, do you suppose? If only it could make a great big field of grass and trees in one fell swoop instead of having to plant the seeds one by one. Surely you could think of something, Hawkeye. Maybe it could come up with another kind of worm food as do the job. I am doing very well, thank you. Yaha! A woody goody. Mm -hmm. A flavorful lump of earth. Some is regularly transform soil into woodlands. Okay, cool. Um, and then. Come hither, Rosie. Yes! The seeds sprouted. We've grown a little pumpkin plant. I've heard so much about pumpkins, apparently they taste great when you grill them, and they're really good for you too. I can't wait to try some for myself. Soon enough we'll have the D tree back to full strength, but I'm not sure what will happen then. I've been studying it day and night to try and figure out the, its mysteries. Speaking of mysteries, the ghost back in the graveyard mentions something strange. He said there was a builder who lived on this island long ago, and he's the one who turned it into a utopia. But if that's true, then when did everyone start Believing that builders spread desolation and despair. Girl pump that was my thought exactly. Girl pumpkin? Who grows a pumpkin? If you ask me, it's not just the deities that shrouded a mystery. The story about the builder is too. Alright. Mr. Mr. Man wants something. 
Eye-watering whack delights Hawkeye. Furrow Field Farm is looking finer than ever. The long-awaited Harvest Festival approaches. Which brings me to my request. Though I'm sure you already have some inkling as to as to what it might be. <laughs> That's right, my boy. I need you to ring the builder's bell, send our building skills building skills skyrocketing, and bring more willing workers to our farm. Something tells me your next bell ringing will bring about a building renaissance of sorts. Don't ask me why, it's just a feeling I have. So, Hawkeye, your mission is clear. Fulfill your fellow villagers' request, earn their gratitude, and ring the builder's bell once more. Okay, so I got three. I only have 79 to go. Holy shit, that's pretty close. So, this should do it. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to the Harvest Festival, Hawkeye. Rosie says they used to make decorations out of pumpkins and put them all around the village to get everyone in an harvesty mood. If we're going to do this festival right, we might as well do it right. Oh, wait. <laughs> we're going to do this festival, we might as well do it right. So how about it, Hawkeye? Can you think of anything pumpkin-y we can decorate the village with? Just do me this one favor and I'll never ask anything of you ever again. If you come up with something special, stick three of them around the farm and get it looking all harvesty. Yay! Of course, a jack o' lantern. All right. Jack o' lantern. Yeah, I'm curious, so let's build one. Jack o' lantern! Three! Okay, first off, this thing. I've always wanted to put something here, but the game wouldn't let me before. Alright, what happens? What happens? Alright, this might take a while. Um, boop, boop, and boop. <laughs> Blimeyneck, Hawkeye! These jack-o'-lanterns look even better than I imagined. But these things liven up the place, the Harvest Festival is sure to be a success. Make more of them if you like, you can never be too prepared for a party. Oh, and speaking of preparations, you remember what Pastor Al said about how people used to get dressed up? In air raising clobbering for the fest for the Arbus Festival. <laughs> well, I've been doing some research and I reckon I figured out exactly what it was they all used to wear. So you can leave the costume creation to me. Do we all have to wear these costumes? I'm not really a fan of fancy dress. Blimey, there's always a proper poop there there's always a party pooper right there. Come on, don't be such a killjoy. Sup, echoed boots. Careful what you call me, Perry, or I'll show you joy. Joy is not the only thing I can kill. Heyo. Eep! There's no need for violence, Mr. Boros, sir. Let's not to do anything rash now. Anyway, uh, th thanks for making the jack o' lanterns, Hawkeye. And look forward to the costumes, won't you? Okay. Yep. <laughs> 19 to go. I don't even think I need to fulfill the rest of these quests, but oh well. Hello, Hawkeye. Furrow Far Furrowfield Farm is looking lovely lately. It's almost time to hold the Harvest Festival, and I can't think of a better place for it. But there was one little thing. That is to say, I wanted to ask you, if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I wanted you to make some bunting and decorate the entire village with it so that it looks as festive as it possibly can. <laughs> Phew. I finally worked up the courage to ask. Lillian was right all along. If there's something I want to say, I just need to jolly well say it. So there you have it. I want you to make at least 30 pieces of bunting and string them between every building in the village. 30 pieces. Okay. Uh, there we go. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, that's a lot of hanging. Okay. Uh. 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 Oh my god. Crap. 
Oops. Didn't quite mean to do that. Try to get rid of this cord. <laughs> ah. Boop. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Boop. 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 Oh, yeah, we can do this way. Boop. Boop. Uh, boop. <laughs> I should. Should I just put it out in the middle of everywhere? Why not? Can I walk through this? I can. Okay. There. I'm clearly not a creative person. Boop. 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 There we go. I'm a minimalist, you can say. Uh, where you are? There you are. Oh my, thank you, Hawkeye. With all this beautiful bunting everywhere, it feels like the Harvest Festival is really here. Just picture everyone celebrating amongst these dazzling decorations fills me with so much joy. I can hardly wait. I know I ought to have asked you this already, but how did you come to Furrowfield in the first place, Hawkeye? Goodness, you and Malra sailed here on a ship? But, but, the, the children of Hargon strictly forbid humans from sailing. The very act of traveling from one island to another is the highest heresy. Still, I must say, I'm rather jealous. I've always wanted to go for a ride on a boat. I hear there is a great glittering city called Moonbrook on an island far to the east of here. I've always dreamed of going to visit. But they say if the children of Hargon ever catch someone sailing the seas, they lock them up and throw away the key. And you know how much they hate builders. I shudder to think what they do to you. Be very wary, Hawkeye. Okay. Oh, there we go. And I'm not even done with the, uh... Not even done with the last quest. Oh, well. Oh, fine. We'll do it. Hello, Hawkeye. I was just thinking of asking you something. How in the world did you know? Pastor Al says that he expects great things of me. Apparently, it's my time to shine. I couldn't agree more. It's time for me to step out of my sister's shadow and stride forth as a strong, independent woman. The first thing I will need is a room of my own. Ugh. I'm not too fussy about the furniture. A simple stool, some straw bedding, and a torch should do the job. Oh, and obviously, I'll need a nameplate, too. Hang it on the wall inside so that everyone knows whose room it is. Hawkeye, I'd be ever so grateful if you could build me a room that is mine and mine alone. Oh, and don't forget to write my name on the nameplate. I don't want there to be any confusion about who who the room belongs to. Okay, where did I leave the table? There's the table. So, you. I'm sure I already have a few of these things, but I don't mind rebuilding them. You. Uh, you. And a torch, right? And you. Okay. Where to put your little itty bitty teeny weeny room? How about right in the middle of all the danger? I have a door, right? Yeah. Okay. You. 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 Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, it's because it's not a room yet. And you. And you. There we go. Whose room do you want this to be? Oh, cool. Lillian's room. I'm gonna sleep in her bed. Oh, I could have done that. That was weird. I had to break in the room. I had I had to test it first. Oh my goodness, you've built a room for me! And it's just like I asked. Thank you ever so much, Hawkeye. Why not build rooms for others, too? 
You just need to hang a nameplate in a room and write someone's name on it, and everyone will know it belongs to them and leave them alone. By the way, Hawkeye, some of the other villagers mentioned that you and Malroth came here to find some people to help you grow a little green, little greenery on your island. Well, I'd be more than happy to help. I'd love to see more of the world, so when you're ready to go back home, don't hesitate to invite me along. Alright, let's increase this level. That's weird that I have to ring it specifically by pressing A and not the actual, and not hammer it. Oh well. Alright, so this should be the last level, and I think we're in the final phase of the chapter. Huzzah! Presents are inspired to build. Whoever goes Yaha seriously sounds like uh, John Raphael. Ben Schwartz. Why does every new villager who comes in like hanging on top of that scarecrow? Okay. Farming gear. Okay. Still doesn't beat the toidle. So you finally worked out how to make roof tiles, eh? It's a bit late for this piece, but I'm sure Lulu would appreciate having a uh, roof over her head back on the Island of, of Awakening. Caterwauling Killipedes, Hawkeye! I feel positively overflowing with building power! Me too! I've never wanted to build anything more than I want to build some somewhat right now! I can hardly contain myself! I feel it too! I want to build and build and then build some more! Man, they are intense! <laughs> they are super intense! Um, are you lot alright? I think you might need to have a li little lie down. <laughs> we'll be fine, Malroth! One day, we shall surely build something big enough to satisfy this urge. I only hope that day comes sooner rather than later. And that's not the only good news. It looks like the sound of the bell has brought us some more budding, builder, budding builders. Furrow Far Furrowfield Farm is on the grow again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do next, Hawkeye. Greet our guests and welcome them to their new home. If you get off my... Damn Scarecrow. Yes, you can join. What's all this, then? The Deatry? On a farm? Who's responsible for this heresy? We are. We built this farm and everything in it. We're all builders. What? If the children of Hargon knew about this, they'd have our, your guts for garters. Hey, Hawkeye. Who's speaking? Oh. Maybe you can't tell us apart on account of us all wearing the same hats, but we're the farmers who came the last time you rang the builder's bell. Area ring a second time around has made up our minds. We're going to be builders too. You'll be struck down, the lot of you! You may be happy to invite your own destruction, but we're not that stupid! You can knock it off right now with that holier-than-thou attitude. Stop beating about the bush and become a builder, alright? Oh, please say you'll join us. Making things is brilliant fun. It really is. Let's all be builders and bring back Furrowfield Farm. Yahoo! Yahoo! Ugh. Be a builder. Be a builder. Have they lost their marbles or have I? Well, you convinced me. We'll join you. We're from Furrowfield and we're farmers, so we may as well be Furrowfield farmers. Yay! Chaos Valentine, how's it going? Yes, this game is fantastic. How you doing tonight? Hi. So that's you. Ha 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 ha, Hawkeye, you've done it again. The people of Furrowfield are filled with Furrowfield are filled with more building power than ever before. I for one am overflowing with the uncontrollable urge to build. I just need to make something. Hopefully we can find a constructive outlet for that, this constructive urge. I'm eager to see what opportunities present themselves. By the way, Hawkeye, have you given any further thought to the matter we discussed before? Ha <laughs> ha I'm talking, of course, about who should be our mayor. I'm sure you'd agree I've got the best beard for the job. I see that enigmatic smile on your lips, young man. I take it this means you approve of my appointment? Can I say no? Absolutely not. But, but, but Pastor Al, 
Any leader worth following is chosen not by the bushiness of his beard, but by those he would lead. I suggest you take some time to reflect upon this fact and reconsider your approach. Mm, ironic, the monster promoting democracy. Interesting. Ugh. Pastor Al, how could you dash my dream so cruelly? But I will not give up, Hawkeye. Rest assured, I shall do what it takes to become the finest mayor this village could ask for. Okay, still more to do. <laughs> Furrowfield Farm is finally finished, Hawkeye, and the Dia Tree is bigger than ever. We can finally hold a harvest festival. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. It, it's all right with you if we start right away, isn't it? Yes. It's been a long road, but we finally made it. And it's all thanks to you, Hawkeye. Without your help, we never would have been able to grow the Dia Tree as big and strong as this. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the island's only going to get greener from here. Just thinking how bright and beautiful it'll be, it, it makes me so happy I could cry. <laughs> I was thinking, Hawkeye, once all our work here is finished and Furrowfield is back on track, do you think I could go back to your island with you? <laughs> I'd always dreamt of rebuilding the farm, and now that I have, I know I can't stop now. I want to spread life and light to every corner of the world. But there will be time for that all, all that later. Right now, we've got a party to hold. Everyone, it's time for the Harvest Festival. The people of Furrowfield take their hoes in hand and gather around the Dia Tree to begin the long-awaited celebrations. Something bad's gonna happen. Calling it. Whoa! 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 Just whoa. What do you think, Hawkeye? Isn't this the best Harvest Festival ever? I'm having so much fun, these pumpkin masks are absolutely hilarious! But there's a deeper meaning to them, too. Apparently, they help you to become a better farmer by letting you experience things from the vegetable's perspective. Anyway, it's nearly time for the main event. We're all going to gather all the crops we've been growing after... After all, it wouldn't be a harvest festival without a harvest. I expect you to join in, too. We'll pick up all the crops that are growing around the scarecrows, but if you've planted anything anywhere else, or if we miss anything, I'm counting on you to collect it. So let's get to it! Everyone, it's harvest time! <laughs> I trust you're enjoying the festivities, Hawkeye. After all your hard work, you've earned a chance to relax and let off some steam. That mask suits you, by the way. I would have... I would have liked to wear one myself, truth be told. But we couldn't find a pumpkin the right size. Hawkeye, Malroth told me I should cease acting as a mere overseer and join you in your building world work. Watching you and Rosie working together, seeing the things you've built, a thought began to form in my mind. A dream is a wonderful thing to have, and there is little in this world more beautiful than to see one's dreams become reality. And so, Hawkeye, I ask to join you. I want to be a builder. I want to go back to your island with you and build to my heart's content. But in order to do so, I must first speak with the children of Hargon, and I will need to enlist your aid once once again. Okay. Oh, army ants! Oh, oh, army handsome! Just look at all these lovely fields we've made. He should be bl blimming proud of yourself. And it's not just these fields we have to thank ye for. We can grow grass and trees, too. For Wiggly like me, it's a dream come true. It feels like the old forest field is bursting up out of the ground. If only we had some flowers, then it really would be just like the old days. But there'll be time for that. Time to think about that later, won't there, me handsome? Oh, he's getting, he's getting flirty. He must have drank something. For now, let's just be happy and see the Dietri standing tall again. Okay. So we're just slicing and dicing. Is that what's going on? Oh, a ghost wants to join me. Oh, it's a... Uh, yeah. It's you. Hello again. Do you remember me? We met at the church. I heard the singing and shouting and just had to check for myself. You're holding a harvest festival, aren't you? 
beautiful. Please let me join your festival. No, wait. Let me join your farm. There might be times when the villagers can't see me, but I'll still be here looking out for them. I'll scare off any monsters who try to attack with a sniping tingle. Ooh, tingling. Ooh. Thank you for letting me stay, Hawkeye. Now let's enjoy the festival. Ooh. Yay. Do, 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 do. I have so many monster friends. Um, Malroth, you're doing this wrong. There's no, uh, there's no crops there, buddy. There, there's, yeah, buddy, 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 buddy. Okay. Do we really have to collect all of these? All right, collect away we we must. You guys are so slow. Right, that's all done. That's all done. That's all done. No, oh, they collected more than I thought they were gonna collect. Hey, right, they did a much better job than I thought they were gonna do. That's everything. Hooray! We finished collecting all the crops. The Harvest Festival is a rounding success. And now we've done everything we need to do. What do you say, Hawkeye? Shall we officially bring things to a close? Sure. Can I save now? <laughs> okay. Let's ask Bonzo to put that beautiful voice of his to good use for the closing ceremony. <clears throat> Bonanzo! 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 The people of Furrowfield sing and dance around the deity, celebrating the powers of creation that have brought them so much happiness. Bonanzo steps forth and, and, and entrances everyone with a song of unparalleled beauty that echoed, echoes across the island and into the night. But amid the sea of smiling faces, a barely per perceptible cloud of concern sits upon Pastor Al's brow. <clears throat> then the morning comes. Uh-oh. Is this Pastor Al doing it? Alakazam! Oh. Hey, big boy. Pastor Alakazam! How dare you! Who was that? A tree... I did not place those trees in the right spot for the scene. <laughs> that was the worst place to put these for, th for this scene. My apologies, everybody. A tree? Fields? You've been building, haven't you? My, my lord, please. If you would just allow me to explain. <laughs> I think not. But, tell me, Alakazam, what do we of the children of Hargon value above all else? Destruction, my lord. Destruction alone can save us. All must be destroyed. Gwa ha 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 ha! Yes! Then your duty is clear. You must destroy this farm and everything in it. Uh-oh. 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 I... I cannot. Wah-ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Then be gone! My lord. Oof. Ah! Aw. Pastor Al! That was weird. <laughs> it seems if you want something done, you must do it yourself. Oh, snap. Uh oh. No! The deer tree! 
In the name of High Priest Argon, I sh or all shall be destroyed. Ha 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 ha! Were you not warned, foolish humans? Builders spread desolation and despair wherever they roam. Go forth, my minions. Crush these pathetic humans in the name of Almighty Hargon. Well, this got depressing. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's smash up skulls. <coughs> All right. They're closing in, but they vanished. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. It looks like the children of Hargon has a, have us surrounded, Hawkeye. We've got no choice but to fight them. So, are you ready to take them down? Let's do it. I've never felt this feeling before, Hawkeye. What they did to Al. What they did to the Deatry. I won't let them get away with this. I'll destroy the lot of them. Oh, that flash was weird. Let's battle some commence. Oh, 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 oh. No! Oh, did the bad boon die? Okay, no. Ow. Uh, is that everyone? Oh, here we go. Oh, you chicken shits. These guys, uh, these guys paralyze you, and that's something I don't want to happen. Ow! Uh-oh, uh-oh, Ugh. Get away from me, fool. I don't mind that just bouncing up and down. I really don't mind. Move! Whoop! Oh, shit. Man, they're really digging a hole, aren't they? Aha. Alright. Wait, what happened? No, I'm paralyzed. Cause I'm not paralyzed. I have to be struck by you. Oh, did they saw? Did they uh, take away that little thing? So in the first Dragon Quest Builders, if you uh, jumped and attacked, you would never become. Your attack would never be stopped by being paralyzed. But that seems to have changed. Oh my God! There's so many. Oh, heal slimes! No, kill the heal slimes! Kill the heal slimes! Kill the heal slimes! Kill the heal slimes! Holy moly, these battles are crazy! Ow! Aiming for me, and you got me. Oh, move, move! In the booty, in the booty. Oh, I wanted to keep on hitting your booty. <laughs> Just keep bouncing. Just keep. Ah, oh, shit! Get in there, Malroth. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, my base is no longer 100%. God, he's got that a lot of life. Ow! Die! Oh, boy. Whew! That was a battle. That was a battle. something at least. I'll take that. Victory! Now is this going to have another series of battles before uh, the boss? Ha ha ha! They didn't last long. It was hardly even a fair fight. But I didn't get it. But I don't get it. I just took out a small army of children of Harkon scumbags but I still feel funny. Oh. Hawkeye! We should check on Pastor Al. <laughs> yes, we should. Hmm. It seems our dear farm was damaged in the last battle. But worry not, for we are builders. Leave this to us, Hawkeye, and we shall have the repairs completed in no time. Is, it, is everything going to be uh, back to how it was? Oh, nice. Cool. How very convenient. Aww. Oh, well, his beer belly's still breathing, so. It seems this is it for me. No, please, Pastor Al. Don't leave us. Don't worry, young Rosie. This is not the end. Not yet. The Dia Tree may have been destroyed, but the hope that it brought you all still remains. Mora. You asked me once where the Dia Tree originally came from. Whether it simply sprouted out of the ground, or if it was made by some other means. The first Dia Tree did not grow. Grow. It was built by the builder who came to the I this island long ago. What? Hawkeye, okay. young builder, I want you to have this. Yay! I've been looking forward to this. That windbreaker, you can take to the skies. You may need it if you are to build another dia tree from the ground up. You, you want us to build another dia tree? But we can't do that on our own. We need you, Pastor Al. Don't leave us. Rosie, my dear apprentice, I have taught you all I know. Now it falls to you to aid Hawkeye. I know you can do this. But I... I... Was this not your dream? To bring back the Dia Tree? To rebuild Furrowfield Farm? Do not give up on your dreams. Do not seek excuses. Seek only a way forward. Hawkeye, look after Rosie for me. Look after everyone. It may have only been for one night. But I'm happy I was able to become a builder. Uh, Pastor Al? No! Pastor was a great leader to us all. I only hope I could become as bold and inspiring a figure as he was. We should never have built nothing. If we hadn't planted that deer tree, none of this would have happened. Let's go, Hawkeye. I'm going to clobber that brainy bad boon so hard his own mother won't recognize him. I'm going to get revenge for Pastor Al. Malra, wait. 
Pastor Al told us to rebuild the Dia Tree. He said to build a new one from scratch. I know, but... There's somewhere I want you two to go. 